A warm embrace as the heads of the Russian and Chinese governments meet in Moscow. A relationship that has grown stronger despite Russia's war in Ukraine. Chinese exports to Russia have been on an upward trajectory since 2012, reaching more than $110 billion in 2023, up more than a third since 2022. Two-way trade hit a record $240 billion last year, with China becoming the top importer of Russia's oil. And in this recent visit by Chinese Premier Li Qiang, Russia emphasized its goal of taking the economic relationship even further. We create comfortable conditions for the work of the commercial companies in the markets of Russia and China. We'll cooperate in the energy sector. This is all of a strategic nature, and at this meeting we'll discuss oil, gas, coal and nuclear components. We'll pay special attention to cooperation in the agricultural sector to ensure the food security of both Russia and China. For Russia's economy, the helping hand of China provides some respite from EU and US sanctions. So how does China benefit from this relationship? A primary benefit is energy resources needed to power its economy. China's consumption of Russian oil jumped up almost 30% in the last two years after 2021, with Russia shipping a record 107 million metric tons of crude oil to China last year, outranking other oil suppliers like Saudi Arabia and Iraq. And in May this year, Russia signed a 30-year, $400 billion contract to supply gas to Beijing. And the two have also made it vital to use their local currencies when doing trade. Russian authorities say the use of the Russian ruble and China's yuan in bilateral trade reached 95% by the end of 2023. Despite Western sanctions taking a hit on both economies, it looks like the two superpowers will continue to benefit from each other for the foreseeable future. Emre Boz, TRT World.